So hello again from me. Uh, my name is Deborah Pierce, and I'm one of the joint managing directors here at SLC Representation. And I've had the absolute pleasure of looking after um, Tourism Noosa for about the last three years, along with some of my colleagues. Um, I think we'll get started. Um, we've got, um, I think, about 10 people listening into the call this morning. So we'll get started and maybe some other people join us as we go along. So um, just as a bit of housekeeping before we start, um, uh, all the attendees, you are on mute and um, your videos um, are also off. Um, but if you do want to ask a question or if you've got anything you want to share with us, if you just pop it in the Q&A answer box um, at the bottom of the screen, then I'll be checking that throughout the call and, and be able to converse with you. I'm really pleased to introduce you today to Tourism Nusa and to Vinka Hutton, who's the International Marketing Manager. Um, she'll be joining us shortly and she'll be taking us through a presentation all about the fabulous Nusa and why it should be in your clients' itineraries to Australia. We'll then follow that up with a Q&A session. So again, if there's anything that you'd like to ask, just pop it in the Q&A box and I'll come to it. If we run out of um, time, then of course I'll, I'll come back to you on email. Um, but I think it's going to be telling us all about um, the eco-friendly and sustainable elements of Noosa, the wide open spaces in the hinterland um, that are ideal for clients to escape from the crowds. Um, you have probably joined our webinars before, so you'll know that as long as you listen to the end, we'll be able to send you the code for your free copy to the Rough Guide to Australia. So do please keep listening to the end. I have to mention um, COVID. I'm sure you're all Australian specialists and you'll be aware of just how well Australia has been managing the pandemic. Um, earlier this week, um, they'd only had 26,500 cases um, and well under 1,000 deaths. Um, Queensland itself has had just over a thousand cases. Um, so they've handled it really, really well. And Vink will be going through some of the details on what uh, supplier products are doing in the Noosa area to make sure that they are COVID safe. Um, and to that end, Queensland and also the federal, federal government um, have COVID safe plans in place and checklists for, to, for tourism to ensure that when they do reopen borders, it's safe to do so. And at the moment, they're certainly using domestic tourism um, to lead the way. So as I mentioned, international borders are, as I'm sure you know, closed with no firm date for reopening. However, wholesale operators and agents are taking bookings from April 2021 onwards. So our hope is that around Easter time next year, the borders may be open. And certainly by early next year, we hope to have sight of when the, the borders will be open. So um, we just thought we'd get going this morning um, by asking you um, a quick poll. Um, so if we, that, that should appear on your screen very shortly, we wanted to ask you um, if you were currently selling Australia, um, if you've sold Australia, Noosa as a destination, if you're currently taking holiday inquiries for the Queensland area, and if you're seeing um, inquiries convert to bookings. So that should come up on your screen um, any second now, there you go. So if you could just let us know the answer to that, it would be really interesting to see what's happening out there in the market. So we'll just give you a couple of seconds to um, get that completed. Okay. Brilliant. And there you go. Our answers are in. So yeah, 67% of you are selling Australia. That's great. I'm sure you'll hopefully all be aware of Noosa and that this will provide a refresher session for you. And great to see that 67% of you have, have sold it. 33% um, take inquiries for, for Queensland and 67% and not. Um, and you're not seeing conversions coming through, which I guess is to be expected. And, and let's hope that turns around for all of our sakes very shortly. So I can see that Vinka's joined us. Um, I'm going to hand over the screen and the presenting to Vinka now and um, she's going to tell us all about the fabulous destination of Noosa and why it should be on your client list. So over to you. Um, any questions, so put them in the Q&A box and I'll pop up at the end and we'll, um, we'll go through those with you. Hi everyone, um, sorry just setting up my computer here. 
So thanks for joining us this morning. Um, yeah, we're missing missing our international visitors here in Noosa. It's not normal to walk through the Noosa National Park and have all of those international languages um, as you pass everybody. So we can't wait for the borders to open here. Um, so as um, I thought, you know, to give you a little bit of inspiration to sell Noosa, I thought I'd start with just a little bit of live footage that we took just a couple of days ago um, to show you our beautiful spring weather here in Noosa. And um, then I'll take you through a presentation. Hopefully. Hi, for those that don't know me, I'm Vinka. I look after international marketing for tourism in Noosa in this beautiful destination we call home. I thought what better way to start a presentation than to do a quick live video and show you one of the must visits when you come to Noosa. So just behind me we've got the Noosa Main Beach there that goes all the way up to the Noosa North Shore, connects up to Rainbow Beach and then on to Fraser Island. Right now as you can see we're in the middle of spring, it's a beautiful 27 degrees, uh, crystal clear water and we've got whales heading back down to the Southern Ocean at the moment. Um, I think there's about 30,000 whales that come past the coastline. So Noosa is one of those destinations you're going to want to send your clients when the borders finally open because of our natural open spaces, beautiful crystal clear waters, um, and it's a very safe environment to come to. All of our operators are serious about having their COVID plans in place and we're working with them on that. So feel free to send them to our amazing place and I'm just gonna take you for a quick walk from Noosa Main Beach up to Noosa National Park. So there you go, just a little bit of live footage to show you that we don't doctor all of our images, that the water really is that crystal clear and blue and amazing. We've had an amazing winter here too, so sorry to rub it in, <laughs> but we can't wait to have you back um, next year. So just a couple of general comments before I start is that the products in this presentation are all COVID ready. Um, as Deborah was saying, uh, Queensland Health is very strict in terms of how our operators are operating right now, as well across the world, I'm sure. So all of the industry have their COVID safe plans in place. Um, properties are remaining flexible in terms of date changes and cancellations because of the border restrictions and anybody that's showing any symptoms. Um, Noose has been blessed with high levels of domestic visitation. We've obviously got Brisbane, um, which is our main city in Queensland, just an hour and a half down the road, as well as Gold Coast. So they've been coming up and keeping us busy. Um, so I guess when you're coming, all of our rooms, they've all been refreshed, they're clean, they've been used. So um, no, yeah, I guess ready to welcome you when your visitors can come see us. A majority of restaurants and cafes are offering takeaway and many are providing delivery options as well. And I guess it's just, just to note when you're making bookings, just think of any experiences that you might be able to add on to the accommodation because we do want them here post this horrible time that we're going through. So we need to support our attractions and experiences. Um, and reports are that clients are wanting to stay longer in regional destinations. So obviously cities can be very busy. So they're looking for those options to send their clients um, to places that have a bit more open space um, for people to get away. And properties are asking if agents can request as many guest details as possible. There's a lot of contactless check-in. So, um, you know, for safety of clients and staff of the properties, um, if you can have mobile, email, physical addresses as well, just so we've got them for government COVID tracing records. All right, so um, Noosa, easy access for those that haven't been to us before. So Brisbane International Airport is our main gateway normally um, to into Noosa. So just one and a half hours south of us. Sunshine Coast Airport is our closest airport. So it's 30 minutes um, south of Noosa again. We launched our new international runway in June this year. So that was really exciting and a bit of a milestone for us. 
We now have direct flights with a company called Alliance Airlines into Cairns. So that will be um, staying and in market as well. So that will provide that amazing dual destination for your clients when they can travel again to visit beautiful beaches of Australia and then up to the Great Barrier Reef in Cairns. It's about an hour and a half flight. So highly recommended. Um, other direct connections we have open at the moment is Adelaide um, and then Sydney and Auckland will come back on the books and then Melbourne as well. So the airport are working really hard with the airlines at the moment to link direct flights into international destinations um, such as the UK. So there will be obviously a stop off, but direct from Sunshine Coast um, into the UK. So again, I guess while, while things have uh, closed down, we've been working hard behind the scenes. So Noosa National Park, um, I was standing, can get my little arrow just about here. Um, so this is Noosa Main Beach here, beautiful little surfing waves off those points. The Noosa National Park, you can literally walk all the way around that headland there. Um, the whales come past here, 30,000 whales each year. Um, saw one just yesterday, I had a meeting in one of the apartments on the beachfront there, and they're doing all sorts of um, breaches and tail flapping. You've got um, the prime accommodation of the beachfront ones here, so they have those amazing ocean views. A lot of restaurants and cafes are along the beachfront here as well. Um, Hastings Street, lots of little boutique shops and restaurants and cafes. Um, as I said, we have been very lucky here, so they're, they're, everything's still open and operational. Um, in terms of properties, you've got the Sopitel Noosa is here, the Siebel Noosa, Mantra French Quarter, and then the Peppers Noosa is actually built up into the hill. Then you've got the Noosa River system that keeps going out. So our Noosa River area used to be called Noosaville. Um, they're actually rebranding and calling themselves the Noosa Foreshore. Um, they just didn't feel like Noosaville really explained what the area is. So Noosa Foreshore has a bit more of that flavour of stand up um, paddle boards, jet skis, hire a boat, go to a restaurant and a cafe, have a coffee. So lots of activities and things to do along this Noosa River system here as well. Um, as you can see from that photo, there's just so much greenery, so many trees and waterways. So it really is about nature in Noosa. So I guess we do um, think that Noosa is a very special place because of our environmental sustainability and our eco-credentials. So clients will be looking for destinations such as Noosa post-COVID, um, both domestically and globally. So because we have so many national parks, lots of wide open spaces, a very sustainable town planning scheme. So there is a lot of space between our buildings as well. There's no high rise developments in Noosa. And it's very much about looking after the area. So if you came back to Noosa in 20 years time, it would still be just as clean and beautiful as it is today. We are Queensland's first UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. So in that little chart there, you can see 35% um, of Noosa is surrounded in National Park. We have um, a lot of different bird species and um, native animals. And what a biosphere reserve is, it's all about balancing the amount of um, environment with town planning. So we never want either to outgrow the other one. So it's about keeping the area sustainable. Living in harmony together, they say. Um, wildlife, so being an Australian destination, you can go for a walk in the Noosa National Park and see koalas. That was taken in the Noosa National Park, that little photo there. Um, kangaroos are everywhere. Um, people on Famules, I like to get them out to go and find the, the kangaroos because they really live here. Um, lots of whales and dolphins and of course our little cheeky birds. So the brush turkey in that third photo there, he's actually protected um, and our little kookaburra. So plastic free, um, we are aiming to eliminate all single use plastic in Noosa. So that is a target. We actually have a staff member that works on this project and that's her KPI to reach. So um, you know, it's a big one, but we're really dedicated to doing it. We've just launched these new Noosa branded water bottles. They're made out of aluminium, um, which is much better for the environment. So um, a lot of our accommodation restaurants and cafes have already picked up and they're using these in place of plastic bottles throughout Noosa. So that's something else we've delivered over this COVID time. We're one of only 10 world surfing reserves um, as well in the world. So that's just being rewarded for crystal clear waters and beautiful little surfing breaks all throughout the national park there. Um, it's not only, you know, big surf, there's perfect learning surf here as well. So it is, Noosa is where you come to learn to surf. So that's the Noosa National Park from an aerial point of view. So this is that main beach area in this corner here that I mentioned, and you can literally walk all the way around here um, around, oops, sorry. Um, literally walk all the way around that path there. You can swim in the little bays out here as well. 
And then Noosa Country Drive. So this exploring Noosa's scenic country areas. So we've had a big, um, I guess, burst of distilleries and craft breweries that have opened in our Noosa hinterland area. So lots to go and see out there, lots of hinterland trails to explore, mountain bike, walking, horse riding, little vintage stores. Um, so it really is worth a trip to get out there. Um, the Noosa Everglades. So 40% of Australia's bird species live out in the Noosa Everglades. There's only two in the world, which is what makes them so special. And as you can see, this is all the tea trees that line the banks of the Everglades. They put their tannin into the water and it creates that amazing reflective um, images off the water. So really beautiful photography and bird watching out in this area. In terms of products, Habitat Noosa, um, they won the Australian Award winner for Best New Tourism Business um, in January this year, and that was through Tourism Australia. So they run the little boats that go out into the Everglades and they have the option to jump into a kayak, as you can see in that picture, and canoe back. Um, they stop for morning tea, they go for a walk out into the National Park area, then they take you back to their new um, purpose-built restaurant for lunch, which is a beautiful roast lunch. You can stay out on site here as well. So they're their glamping tents. Um, again, during COVID, they've actually built another 13 pepper bark tents out here. So they started with five, they now have 18. So they have um, just for couples or families. Um, so they have bunk beds and a queen bed in these. And as you can see in that photo, there's literally kangaroos that are there morning, noon and night. Um, for driving on the beach from Noosa up to Rainbow Beach onto Fraser Island. So this is one of those bucket list experiences. So you literally have those amazing coloured sand cliffs on the left and the beautiful blue turquoise water on the right hand side. I've literally driven up that beach and just seen whales jumping out of my window. It's, it's very spectacular. Um, Epic Ocean Adventures. So that this is more for that adventurous person um, that wants to drive up the beach, but then do an experience when they get there. So Epic offer kayak, surfing and stand up paddle boarding at Double Island Point. When you're out here, there is nothing else out here except the wilderness, the ocean and national park and lots of whales. Um, it's home to Australia's longest wave out here. And this is actually where Chris Hemsworth comes with his family quite regularly as well. Um, and they camp up here at Rainbow Beach. Discovery groups, these guys have been around for a long time now. They've got those big warrior vehicles that take you, they seat about 40 people normally. At the moment, it's only 25. So they pick up from Noosa, drive up the beach, and that's to explore Fraser Island from Noosa. They've just bought a whole fleet of luxury 200 series land cruisers. So for people that are looking for a bit more of a high-end or tailored experience, a private experience, and particularly again with COVID, people not, might not want to share space with others. So they have these um, tours from Noosa up to Fraser Island. The tours can be tailored as well to suit the client. They can do gourmet barbecue lunches, picnics on the beach um, with beer and wine. They can chuck in a body board so you can go for a surf up on your, on your trip up as well. Um, skydive Noosa, so they do, I mean, there's nothing better than landing on a beach if you're into skydiving. So again, Skydive Noosa have been around for a long time, a very trustworthy um, company. So they jump um, and land on Coolum Beach there, which is just a little bit south of Noosa. Creative tools and events, quite new into trade. Um, so they are connected with the distilleries, the craft breweries and all the uh, farm gates in our hinterland areas. So great for small groups or for couples that are wanting to get out and, you know, have a few drinks, not have to drive. Um, so seeing all of our local breweries, we've got gin distilleries, vodka distilleries, um, and they're all spattered throughout the hinterland. So they're beautiful drives as you go out there as well. They also do some farm to fork type um, farm gate tours as well. Um, Ocean Rider, another new one as well to trade. So these guys, just within an hour, an hour, you can be out seeing whales um, just out from Noosa National Park. So they're very small boats, they only seat 12 people. So you have that really up close and personal experience seeing dolphins and whales. So whale season is July to October, so we're right in the thick of it at the moment, and they've been everywhere. Um, and then off season from Wales, they do their dolphin safari and then the thrill ride, which is a bit of a jet boat ride, which is fun. Um, so they leave along the Noosa River area out into the main ocean. Um, I love this experience. Like you're literally looking back to the Noosa National Park, you see how the trail connects, and then you look at all the amazing million dollar houses at Sunshine Beach. Um, Noosa Trusted Branded Hotel, so that's your Sofitel, the Siebel, Mantra French Quarter. 
and then Peppers Noosa Resort and Villas. As you can see, Peppers is quite a big property. It's the one in this right-hand picture here. Um, but every room has its own particular private view. So you really don't feel like you have neighbours and you've got national parks surrounding you. Um, Bounce is a new backpackers that's just being built in Noosa at the moment. It's set to open in February 2021. So this is not just for the backpacker. It's also, say, for the business traveller that, um, you know, wants a bit of environment, a bit of life. Um, they're not stuck in their hotel room. So they've got their private rooms as well as the dorms. So this is going to be a really awesome addition into Noosa. Sea Haven Noosa, this is for your luxury client. It's that absolute beachfront that everybody wants. So wake up in the morning, look out to that beautiful main beach. They've got one and two bedroom fully serviced apartments and they've all just been completely refurbished throughout COVID as well. Retreat Beach Houses, these are about 10 minutes south of Noosa. Again, this is for the client that wants a little bit of space away from the hustle and bustle. Um, they're private self-contained holiday houses. They've got three bedrooms they can be locked down to a one or a two bedroom. You have your private boardwalk access straight onto that beautiful beach. It's about an eight minute stroll back to Perigian Beach, which has a whole range of amazing little boutique cafes and restaurants. Um, and they've just put in a whole grass area at the front there. So those trees are being replaced with grass and they get a lot of wallabies and kangaroos. Alea Verde, so for clients that want a bit of a bed and breakfast experience, um, three luxury pavilions, they've got all their own private en-suites, all organic skincare products, um, they get a lot of kangaroos as well. It's about a 15 minute drive from Noosa and it's off a dirt track. So again, um, for that client, wants a little bit of space, a um, bit of intimate service, uh, they do yoga classes as well. Um, RACV Noosa, they've just had a complete renovation as well. They've done all of their um, internal restaurant area, so that's all undercover now, and they've just done, redone all the rooms again. And then Stay Noosa. So Stay Noosa, um, this is Cargold Point. This is an amazing property. That's your own private beach here. You're looking out to Noosa North Shore, so you're not looking at any buildings. Um, no one else can access this beach except the people that stay there, and they've just put a whole new pool, spa, and fitness area in. And then that picture on the right hand side is a whole new breezeway and reception area that they're putting into. Uh, Make Peace Island. So uh, this is, uh, again, it's exclusive use, but we have couples that come and stay here. We have small families that come and stay here. It is high end, but you have your own personal chef, your um, boat trips that take you back out into Noosa Main Beach. Basically, they'll take you wherever you want to go and it's all included in the price. Owned by Richard Branson. <laughs> And I guess just to finish, you know, when you can start traveling again, we really do like to spoil our agents. So we do some amazing things. We take you up to Lady Elliot Island to snorkel with turtles. We take you up to Fraser Island to see Lake Mackenzie. We get you on little planes, um, champagne, watching the sunset. So yeah, so that, that can be you hopefully one day soon. I also just wanted to take you um, quickly through our new campaign, which is Enter the Biosphere. So as I mentioned, um, Noosa is a biosphere reserve. It's all about being a very sustainable destination with environmental credentials. So, you know, more than ever before, people were wanting to travel to those natural destinations. So we thought we'd play on that a little bit. Um, you know, there's been a lot of emotive videos. So we wanted to have a bit of lighthearted fun. So we used animation for this. Um, it was delivered with animation and then it will be rolled out with real life footage as well. Um, this will come into the international market um, as a bit of a as, sorry a bit of a teaser um, post COVID as well. So purpose of the campaign is with any campaign it's to drive bookings, but it's really to showcase and educate people on our incredible diversity and natural experiences. Um, we you know we've been caught a bubble before in Noosa, so you know entering the bubble of Noosa, we know we're special. So it is all about you know, coming and having a very environmental and sustainable stay um, and feeling safe when you come here as well. Um, we're a very safe destination. So just to show you, this is the animation video that we used and then there's been some real life footage that's rolled out post this. Noosa, it's time to unwind naturally from idyllic national parks. Hey, is that koala talking? I swear I heard it talking. Enjoy the iconic main beach where the waves are bumping. Huh? I know, right? What, what, what? Why not take a country drive to see the sunset at Mount Karura? Or to pick up homegrown local produce. Mmm, <laughs> fresh. Discover relaxing river life at Nooseville. 
pristine waters with an endless sky. Ah, lovely, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. I know. His core is incredible. Noosa. The balanced way to get away. Um, so, as I said, that's sort of the animated and then, um, you know, start to show our surfing beaches, our kayaking, our stand-up paddle boards, our nature walks and mountain biking. Um, so, a few, I guess, main takeaways is that, you know, as with everyone in Australia and the rest of the world, we'll need your help to sustain um, tourism in, New in Noosa and up to Fraser Island and Lady Elliot Island and the rest of the Sunshine Coast. Um, Sunshine Coast Airport, we have the direct flights. So if you've got clients traveling to Sydney, Melbourne, um, Adelaide, Auckland is missing off there, sorry, and Cairns, that they can connect direct to the Sunshine Coast. So it just cuts off their travel time. They start their holiday sooner. We take COVID safety measures very seriously. We're very aware that once, you know, next year seems like a, not so long, long away, but that there's still gonna be very high expectations for cleanliness and safety. And then the selling points for Noosa, so wide open spaces, natural environments, lots to do. Um, and also, you know, please get in touch if you need any recommendations or help or questions. That's what I'm here for. So thank you. Um, as Deborah said, if you can shoot through any questions and I believe she's got a couple of questions for me as well. Yeah, I have. Thank you so much for that, Vinka. Gosh, I mean, I think we probably all wish that we were there. And it, it is fabulous. It looks fabulous. And I think we can't wait till either we can come back in person or we can send our clients um, your way. Such an amazing range of accommodation. I think um, you'd be hard pressed to choose which one you're going to go and stay in. And I love the fact that Chris Hemsworth camps on the beach at Rainbow <laughs> Beach as opposed to staying at Makepeace Island. I think I he does, he does a bit of both. <laughs> yeah, I could be persuaded to camp if he was going to be there. Um, I have got some questions to ask you, but um, a question has just come through the Q&A function from Chrissy. She's asking um, when the best time is to see the dolphins. Any time of the year, dolphins are always here. They're here year round. Um, they're travelling pods, so there's usually about 20 to 30 dolphins. So those ocean rider tours take you out and they literally will go and find the dolphins before the tour ends. So... Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I see dolphins pretty much every day. So, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. And the whales you said are there now. So July to October. Yeah, so July, we, it's really June to November, but we say June to October, to, um, July to October to be safe. So they have their migration. They head up to Fraser Island, have their babies in Fraser. So when they come back down, they actually swim really close to the um, coastline to protect the calves from any predators. So we get amazing viewing um, of the whales as they come back down. Wow, how incredible. Um, so you took, took us through quite a lot um, of detail there. Um, what's your top tip for a stay in Noosa? What's the, the must, must do elements? Yeah, we get, I guess it's even on for meals, like one of the biggest things I get is that people wish that they stay longer. So I think Noosa is considered one of those passing through or they just happen to veer off the highway and they discover Noosa. Um, and they just wish that they had more time here. I mean, not only do we have the amazing beaches, so particularly for the UK market, you can just flop and drop on, on an amazing beach, whether that's Noosa or some of the southern beaches like Peregium Beach and Sunshine. But just the amount of um, hinterland, driving on the beach, the Everglades, like Everglades is a hidden gem. Like it's so tranquil. You just feel like you're in the middle of a wilderness area. It's only 20 minutes from Noosa and it's an absolute must do. Just driving on the on, just while you're on the other glades um another question just popped in because she said that the tea tree oils um are overhanging and that's what it gives that's why this that reflective um effect mm -hmm. of the water because the tea tree oil but someone's just asked uh, what what does tea tree oil what's it good for is it antiseptic it's an antiseptic yeah mm -hmm. so it's good for um you know it's a cleansing of the skin so if you actually went for a swim when you're out there which they give you the option to jump in the water and go for a swim you come out with really silky smooth skin so it's like a cleansing antiseptic agent and it's well used in here for um, all sorts of things so we have tea tree spray um, sprays you can buy in our local supermarket for disinfectant and things great brilliant Sorry, I interrupted you. I think you were going to go on to tell us. Oh, I can get going. Features. Um, yeah, and I was also going to say, yeah, so exploring the other coastal towns, people, you know, they think Noose is it. They think that that little hub is, that's all there is to do. Whereas if you head down to Sunshine Beach, 
there's some of our best restaurants, some young guys, which I think you went to, Deb, when you were here. Okay. Um, it's really well known in Nice, so you have to book well in advance. There's beautiful walks. The Sunshine Beach Surf Club just had a complete renovation and it literally perches on the ocean and it's one of the best places to go whale watching. And then down to Pregium Beach, which is another little village. It's where I live, maybe a bit biased, but it has the best croissants, the best sushi, the best smoothies. Like it's just an awesome hub, great boutique shopping. And then out into Pomona and Karoi. So there are hinterland areas. So this is where you find the farm gates, the distilleries, the craft breweries, um, little vintage shops for those that like vintage and to climb up mountains. There's so many trails to go walking and hiking and mountain biking on as well. Um, and not just to mention, Fraser Island's only an hour and a half north of Noosa and then Lady Elliot Island as well. And then Australia Zoo and the rest of the Sunshine Coast. So you can base yourself in Noosa You've got pharmacies, banks, shopping, everything that you need, and then you can just do trips out and come back. Great. So you also mentioned um, the sort of length of stay and that people often wish that they had stayed longer. How long would you recommend the international guests come for? I think the UK market, they do like to stay a little bit longer. So they I mean, it's, we have a massive visiting friends and relative market in Noosa. So a lot of the UK, they do tend to come and move to Noosa. There's a lot of that. Um, but four to seven days for the UK market, um, four days has always been typical. Um, but up to seven days, there is plenty to entertain yourselves with. Um, like I said, it's it really is that place that you've got great food, great shopping, beautiful beaches um, and access to everything and surrounded in nature. Great, fabulous. And um, just remind me of how to get to Noosa and, and is it necessary, do you have to hire a car if you fly into Brisbane or Sunshine Airport? Can to <laughs> you, get no, you car? don't. We, I mean, we recommend, obviously, hiring a car um, just so you can get out and access some of those more regional hinterland towns because there's some beautiful drives out there as well. But we're an hour and a half north of Brisbane, so you'd fly in direct from the UK into Brisbane. Um, as I mentioned, if you're flying into some of the other major cities like Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, we have direct flights into the Sunshine Coast. Um, um, we have lots of different transfer connections. So the biggest one is connection transfer services. So they, they depart every hour on the hour from both Sunshine Coast Airport and Brisbane Airport to get you up to Noosa. Great, so very accessible. And we mentioned the COVID-19 um, safety precautions that all the products and businesses are taking. Can you just tell us uh, again a little bit more about that? And um, for, for our audience listening, I mean, I'm not a frontline agent, you guys are. So, so if you want to message me and let me know if, if this is a huge concern of people when they're talking about bookings, if they are asking about measures or not. But um, let us know, it'd just be interesting to have that as feedback. But yeah, if you could just remind us again, what, what is happening in Queensland? I guess for um, the trade ready partners, I am going around and, you know, just reiterating that when the international borders open, we might be back to normal here in Australia, but that doesn't mean that our international guests are going to be feeling comfortable. So they need to make sure that those plans are still there. They're still following all of the government regulations. We actually um, hold workshops with our industry as well. So we um, provide them with information on the most current changes and what they need to do in their business to remain COVID safe. And that includes things like signage, sanitizer, um, you know, mobile check-in, lots of QR codes. I'm sure you've got that over in the UK as well. Everywhere you go, you have to have the QR code on your phone. Um, I just went to the Sofitel Noosa for a meeting today and you have to literally stand on the footpath. They come and greet you. You scan your QR code, enter your details, and then they walk you to your table and sit you down. So it's really making sure that there's no spread of any type of germs as much as they can um, in and around their property or the retail agents. We've got all spacing on the footpaths. We've actually created decals in the Noosa brand. So we do have those 1.5 metre spaces um, all along the footpaths and things around Noosa. Um, and I guess we are our Noosa council as well. We have a health inspector um, that his new job is COVID inspector. So he actually goes around and finds people if they're not following correct COVID measures in terms of social distancing, table spaces, um, number of people that are allowed in the restaurants at the one time. So it's continuing from accommodation, retail, restaurants, all the way through. Right. Um, in terms um, of safety. Um, are masks mandatory? No, not no. here. Um, Victoria is the only place at the moment, um, probably Sydney as well, that they, Victoria more so, they have to wear masks at the moment. It's mandatory. 
Um, here, we don't have any cases. So we've been really lucky. I think there was one the other day from someone that flew in from an international destination that had permission and she was hotel quarantined straight away. And that's it. So, um, no. <laughs> no, you've dealt, dealt with it really, really well. Well, that was brilliant. Um, it is 11.36. It's been quite a whistle stop tour but we really appreciate you giving up your evening to join us um thinker and to tell us more about noosa um, we've got a closing poll that we're just going to put up on the screen now just to find out if you've been inspired to um sell noosa or not so if you could let us know what your your sentiments are around that and just while you're doing that as vinka said vinka's um here to answer any questions you've got um my email is deborah at slcrepresentation.com i'll be contacting you after this anyway just to follow up with some fact sheets and some information on noosa but if you've got any questions at all if you need any up-to-date information um if you need anything answered do send it across to me and i can um loop vinka into the response because we want to um, give you the best possible tools that you can have in order to sell noosa so please don't hesitate it's absolutely what we're here for so um i think we just got the results oh wow that's brilliant it's 100 percent inspired to sell noosa fantastic <laughs> thank you all so much that that makes it all worthwhile for um for Vinka and I. Um, so I think with that, we're probably ready to say goodbye. So, Vinka. yeah, thank you. As I said, we can't wait to see you here. I think, you know, we miss you. <laughs> we'll be back soon. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Bye bye. Bye.